The Sports Scouting Report with Lee Burkeen. Brought to you by Harvey Autos in Shreveport, Bossier City. The name you've trusted for years. GEICO, the insurance savings you expect. Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group and Gonzalez. Total Car Care. Tire Shop and Automotive Repair in Baton Rouge. Bollinger Shipyards. 75 years of delivering high quality vessels. And the Bugman. We get them before they get you. Here's your host, Lee Burkeen. Hi everyone, Lee Burkeen, Sports Scout Report Podcast, your host. Uh, this is part two of our offense. It's going to be a short show uh, talking about the rest of the offense for North Louisiana sleepers. And if you haven't tuned in before, these are the guys that didn't make our Louisiana team. If you didn't see those shows, go to YouTube or go wherever you get your podcast to watch our show, the Sports Scout Report Podcast with Lee Burkeen. You can watch all the past shows we did for South Louisiana and North Louisiana. We did all Louisiana teams for both of those areas of the state. We also did a sleeper team for South Louisiana. This is our North Louisiana sleeper team. We're going to continue on in this show. We're going to talk about tight ends uh, that are sleepers. Some of these guys played other positions, but I thought their future could be a tight end for a scholarship or an opportunity at a college to continue their football career. Xander Washington from Richwood is a one-year guy, legit 6'5", that really can play. I really like this kid's frame. I think he can get up to 250 easily and become a phenomenal tight end. He, he just needed another year to fill out, but he moves well, runs about a 4'7", 40. Uh, continuing on, uh, Hayden Gray from Dearborn, Dearborn Woods, uh, right outside of the, you know, the Monroe area, North Louisiana. Hayden was a four-year starter, played fullback, played linebacker, played some D-line, and some tight end. But he's a very big physical blocker. And I think you, you look for those guys all day long that stand 6'3", 240, like Hayden Gray. Zai Scott from Ruston uh, was really only a two-year starter, still needs to continue filling out. But he plays basketball, and he averages over 12 points a game for the Ruston basketball team. So he has a decision he's going to have to make. Does he sign as a two-guard at 6'2 in basketball, or does he go to a D1 school as a tight end and gain 20 more pounds? He runs a 4'6'40, and he's very athletic, and I hope whatever he chooses, he'll be a D1 player in the end, Zai Scott from Ruston. Another tight end under the radar from Bastrop High School, T.K. Atkins, uh, legit 6'2 and a half, got him on the screen at 6'2, 225, four-year starter, can run for days, just needs to get coached up a little bit. He can weigh 240 easily one day and play tight end or defensive end uh, for college. Chris Payton from Captain Shreve. Uh, pa uh, Captain Shreve had a bunch of fullback tight ends. He's a big guy that could play college ball if he wanted to. He's got the look and the height and the weight and can run. Another tight end is Contreglion Spencer from Mansfield, similar to Scott Kidd from Ruston. Just needs another year to fill out. If you see on the screen, he's 205, but he can run a 4'6", and he can easily gain another 30 pounds in college. I think he's a big-time steal. Uh, Chris Car uh, Carper from Red River plays some DN, linebacker. I think he's a tight end. Uh, Red River's uh, home of a lot of great players over the years, uh, a lot of sleepers. That's a big kid. Chris can run 4'7", in the 40, and he's very, very tough. Uh, Braden Owens is a 6'8". That's right, 6'8", tight end. From West Washita in Monroe, 230 pounds. Uh, he came out late, uh, can run really well. If he chooses not to go basketball and he gets up to about 240, 250 in college, I think he could be a good tight end and a guy that can really project in a year or two. Uh, Cody Wilhite is a, a kid from Benton and Bossier City that really runs well. A late bloomer to the game. Again, like these tight ends I keep mentioning, just needs another year to weigh 240, 250. Cody can run a 4.8 and a 40. Uh, very athletic. Was a really good blocker uh, when I saw him play at Benton. I think he's a guy that if he walked on, wanted to play college football, could continue his career and be a big tight end that can run one day and be a sleeper. John David Moore did it from Ruston, remember, way back uh, to LSU. Jack Mashburn did it uh, from St. Paul's High School at LSU. And several of guys have walked on as tight ends and fullbacks. It's hard to find great blockers that have good grades that can come in and get an academic scholarship and then 
switch on and be a starter for you one day. Uh, that is our, uh, our tight ends. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about the top athletes in North Louisiana. We'll be right back. Hi, everyone. Lee Burkeen, your host of the Sports Scouting Report podcast, also owner of Louisiana Football Magazine. And check out LAFootballMagazine.com, our website. If you've missed any of the shows that we've done in the past, with all Louisiana teams from North and South, and the sleeper team for South Louisiana. Today is our part two of offense for North Louisiana. I'm going to continue on. Uh, again, these are seniors only. Uh, the athletic position, the, uh, the top player that really on your team that can play multiple positions. Uh, I'm going to start with Bradley Riccardi from Tioga, uh, right outside of Alexandria. Tioga's had some good teams the last five years. Bradley's a guy under the radar because his teammate, his other receiver on the team, went and signed his college scholarship. And this kid's also a college guy. He runs 4-5, great hands, can do it all. I uh, hope he ends up at a college soon. I don't think he's signed yet. I didn't see it. I searched. Uh, but I think Bradley would be a steal for someone as a walk-on that would be a scholarship guy in about a year. Continuing on, Michael Morgan Jr. from Southwood in Shreveport, four-year starter. Phenomenal football player, played DB, receiver, running back, quarterback, did it all. If you see, he's got good size. I think he's a D1 player, just under, underlooked, underrated. Um, J.D. Gallman from Bird, uh, started as a quarterback, excuse me, started as a receiver, then a quarterback, then he ended up back at a skill position his senior year. Um, has a great ability, if he wanted to be a receiver, in my opinion, in college, uh, to be a slot guy. Uh, another athlete that played quarterback at Captain Shreve in Shreveport is Courtney Beener from uh, Captain Shreve. Uh, had a really good arm, showed good arm this year, but also could be a DB, a safety, or could be a wide receiver in college. Uh, but was a quarterback for Captain Shreve this year. Zach White from Washita Christian uh, could play multiple positions, a leader, uh, really good player for Coach Fitzhu at uh, Washita Christian and Monroe. Uh, Amon Fuller from Neville uh, was a quarterback at Neville. Uh, was also uh, capable of playing receiver, DB. Uh, he saw it centenary, uh, and I think he's going to have a great career for Coach Byron Dawson there. Uh, Tremel Colvin, uh, running back for Sterlington. Not a big guy, as you see, but, man, he had over 4,000 yards rushing at, uh, at Sterlington. Was a great four-year starter. Uh, bigger on the field than his height and weight. He plays big. Uh, it's going to Louisiana Christian to play. Uh, college football. I think they got a steal with, with Colvin. Continuing on, Zachary Jackson from Washita and Monroe was a quarterback for uh, Washita in a tough district. Again, not a big guy, but could play wide receiver, could play corner, a very athletic kid. Uh, Marion Dorsey from Green Oaks in Shreveport. Uh, really love his game, very fast, very physical. Again, not a big guy, but could play multiple uh, positions. Uh, Corin Collins from Block. One of the fastest players in Louisiana that you've never heard of. Uh, Block is a very small school in North Louisiana. Corin runs a 4-3 in the 40. Uh, talked to his coach uh, in the summer of 223 and said he is the fastest player in the state in track. Uh, and that, that's big words. But here's a guy that no one's heard of. Uh, Collins played five positions for Block this year. Did not sign, and he might get a track scholarship because he can run about a 10-3, 10 10-4, 10 and 100 meters. Uh, Peyton Odom, St. Frederick, um, in Monroe, transferred from River Oaks for his senior year. Uh, can play receiver or DB. Great football player, four-year starter. Uh, Katerius Cooper from Sicily Island, another small school, four-year, actually five-year starter since his eighth grade year. Might even be a six-year starter because they start players in the seventh grade at Sicily Island because they don't have enough players. Uh, Jude Gayton from Lowell Prep missed his junior year with a knee injury. Senior year came back, had a really good year, could play DB or wide up. Very skilled and athletic guy. And here's a guy, that if, you, if, you, if you recognize the last name, you remember a guy named Dwight McAuthan who played at LSU DB, transferred to Arkansas, and he's going pro. He'll be in the draft coming up. He'll be one of the top DBs taken in the first or second round. This is cousin, Xavier McLaughlin, who started at Calvary Baptist, transferred to uh, Northwester his senior year where Devin White played. Devin White of LSU and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 
But Xavier runs a 4-4-40, and Calvary Baptist had so much talent. He was a backup that played a lot, and he actually had a good good year this year at North uh, Webster. So with Southern Arkansas, they got a steal in Xavier McLaughlin. That McLaughlin, uh, that's a good name. Dwight did a great job at LSU and Arkansas. And the last uh, player I want to talk about on offense for the sleeper team in North Louisiana is Jermaine Cleveland from Delhi. Uh, around the Monroe area, great football player, long, plays DB, plays receiver, can play a little linebacker, can run a 4-6, and one of those guys that I would want in my program, if I was D1 or 1AA, if you were going to bring in what I would call really athletic walk-ons and have a chance to earn a scholarship one day, would be Jermaine Cleveland. We're going to go ahead and end the show. Uh, this is part two of offense for North Louisiana, and make sure to see uh, part one and part two of our defense. It might just end up being part one, but we're going to do our defense. Also, make sure to catch that show. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hope everybody in North Louisiana likes what we're doing, promoting a few of the players you might not hear about every day, guys that really uh, deserve mentioning because of their play on the field, not their rankings, uh, not that if they're going to college or not, but just deserve the mention of all their hard work. And I think the coaches respect that, the moms and dads and the kids. Hope you have a great week. God bless everybody. We'll see you in the next show.